Hello Stock Stalkers, welcome back. In this video, I will be discussing about Abu Dhabi Stock Market Exchange, Index and some potential stocks that are looking bullish. But before that, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing as I keep updating my technical analysis for Dubai and Abu Dhabi Stock Market. With that, let's start the video. So let's start from the market index. As we know previously, this is an important zone for the market. If you have been following my analysis, I have been mentioning this zone is a strong support for the market. Previously, we can see market have taken bounce from this level. When market came back to retest the same area, we are seeing a small bounce again. But from here, we are seeing market has been dropping consecutively for the last 9 days. But as you can see, this level has been respected. Here we can see a solid red candle market tried to break past this zone. Very next day we are seeing a solid green candle with good buying pressure. Friday's closing is also very bullish. We are seeing buying pressure or support right into the same zone indicating bulls are active. But still we don't have a confirmation. Market is still declining. We still want to see bullish price action above this zone. But the beauty of this decline is we are seeing all small candles. No big candles like this or like this to indicate that big boys are selling. These are probably retail traders who are exiting their positions. We only saw this big red candle right into our support zone that was broken but very next day market supported and bounced back. So now we want to see market climbing up from here. 9400 to 9450 is resistance. Previously we can see market took a pause here. A small support is seen here. Previously at the same zone we are seeing two candles showing a support and then a big bounce from here. So this zone will be strong support and resistance area. Once market crosses this zone, we are having next hurdle at around 9560 that is this area. This is also a resistance and obviously major resistance stands at 10,000 level. At the same time, if market is not responding or going up from here, next support is around 9100 and then we have 9050 which I hope we don't see and market starts to climb up from here. Now let me go up to weekly chart to have a bigger picture. This is the weekly chart of ADX index. We are seeing a nice bullish dodgy candle right into our support zone. On daily chart we saw this zone has been respected right here, the circle and the circle here as well. So market is still in a safe zone but very soon we want to see market closing above 9450 to consider this as a bullish setup as of now market is still positive. As I just mentioned on daily chart if this zone is not holding we can even come down around 9000 zone. This was the market index. Let's check out some stocks. Aldar after making a huge move to the upside now it have come down to retest the same area that was previously acting as a resistance we can see market tried to cross here it got rejected again and again same level is now acting as a support market broke the resistance it came down for a retest we can see a bullish hammer type of candle and from here market went up till around 5.80. Once it hit the resistance, now it's coming down for a retest. The same zone that was previously a resistance, now it's acting as a support. We are seeing a bullish hammer candle and then a engulfing candle. Indicating bulls are controlling this zone and most likely we can expect upside momentum from here. Well, if the market is positive, we can see a gap here that needs to be filled. So potentially it can come till 5.00 very soon. In case if market is not holding this level, it can come down to retest the same area. This zone is between 4.20 to 4.30. This will again be a buying opportunity. And you can take smaller targets as markets are very volatile. Quick entry and exit should be planned. Stop loss should be below the red candle's low that is around 4.08. Rack Properties is also looking very interesting. We saw after this bullish move to the upside, clearly market indicating now it's time to book profits and now it's time for a reversal. This candle is bearish although it's green in color and from here we saw a decline. Right at the support zone we are seeing a nice bullish hammer candle again and then a dodgy candle followed by a green candle indicating bulls are still active. They don't want to come down for a retest and potentially they want to go high now. So where is the next resistance or potentially the next target? 0 0.740 was previously a resistance. The same resistance was acting as a support and this support was broken. This clearly defines this is a strong and potential target if you are buying at current levels. As usual, always remember if you are making a trading plan, stick to it. But if market opens with a big gap down, 
Avoid that trade. There are many opportunities in the market. Look for other stock. It's not mandatory that if you have planned for this stock, if it opens negative, you have to still take the trade. No, if it opens flat, it means market sentiments are still positive and it can go higher. If it opens gap up, it means traders are more excited and are aggressive. You can still consider to buy. The problem is only when it gaps down. Say for example, last closing is at 0.685. In case if it opens at 0.68483, still acceptable. But it should not open with a huge gap down. This will indicate weakness and people those who have bought at current levels that is around 0.68586 will be in losses and they will exit the trade which will push the prices more lower. Always remember being in panic is a stronger emotion so people will exit the trades quickly if they are in losses. As you can see when people start to sell market goes down very quickly whereas when market wants to go up it slowly climbs up so you always get opportunities to buy at the right time. See how market is climbing up slowly and steadily, goes up, comes for a correction, goes up, comes for a correction. But in case of a decline, we can see a straight drop to the downside as people are in panic. Adnock distribution is also looking very good. Previously we have seen this zone is acting as support and resistance. Whenever market try to cross this zone, it comes down, it gets rejected. So same zone once it was broken was acting as a support, we can see immediate reaction right into the zone. Also we are seeing a bullish chart pattern that is a morning star and then market is now just hanging around the zone. Last closing is very bullish. After seeing inverted hammer candle, we usually want to see market going down but bulls are still active here. It means they are protecting this zone. Again if it opens flat or with a gap up, there are very good chances it can go high. Next target should be at 4.30. In case if it opens with a big gap down, avoid this stock. Stop losses should be below 4.13. Many people are asking about Arkan or M-Steel. It was very bullish right at this zone. It was about to break out. In fact, it broke to the upside. But very next day, there was negative news in the market about inflation and recession. It straight away came down at the support zone that was previously being respected. We can see market taking bounce from this level again and again. If we see the last closing is a dodgy candle, meaning indecision in the market. Previously, we saw same kind of reaction when it touched the zone, a huge big green dodgy candle, meaning indecisiveness and then market open with a gap up. Well, as of now, market is just around the zone and we are seeing a dodgy candle with very low volumes. I hope if this zone is respected, then we can see a bounce to the upside. If you ask me when will this stock turn bullish, we can only say market is bullish once it crosses this level that is 1.24. Once we see a close above this level, then we can say it's bullish. For now, it's under pressure right at the support zone. Abu Dhabi Ports a very good example of gap down opening, we saw with this huge green candle, market is positive, people are buying at ports, but as you can see, very next day it opened with a gap down. When it gaps down, traders directly understand there is something wrong in the market, people are not buying at the last closing. Why is that? Because we know this is a resistance zone, that is 5.40. We saw some selling pressure from this level, market came down till around 5.00. That's the reason traders are skeptical to enter at the current zone as it's very difficult to buy near the resistance because it can either break out or it can even come down to retest the support. Last closing as you can see as I just mentioned it opened with a gap down. It's a dodgy candle. Tomorrow if it opens with a gap up it means people are confident and now most likely it can cross the resistance and go up. Manazil have finally broken this trend line that was acting as a resistance. We can also see a bullish chart pattern here. Market came down. It took a bounce from this level that is 0 0.360. Went up till 0 0.382. Again it came down to retest 0 0.360. This chart pattern is called double bottom. Neckline of this chart pattern is at 0 0.380. Market also broke this resistance and from here it made a huge candle to the upside. Next resistance was at 0 0.390. This was also broken. All we want to see now is a bullish candle right into the support zone and then we can expect market to go higher from here. But in case if we don't see any response or any positive response near this zone, then we should wait for a bullish price action right near the next support that is 0 0.380 that was the neckline of this chart pattern. Overall Manazil is now looking positive and there are good chances it can go higher from here. 
I'm very disappointed with Buruj. IPO was a massive hit, it was huge. It opened with a bang, we can see on the first day itself it was climbing higher, even second day it opened with a huge gap up, but from third day onwards we are seeing a straight decline. Last closing is a 2.80, still looking negative and it have already crossed the listing price, for now clearly in a downtrend. This will turn bullish only once we see a close above 2.90, for now this should be avoided. Do not rush to enter the trade, we can see previously people were expecting it to go higher from here. It went up a little bit right at the resistance, again we are seeing a decline. Similarly it can go a bit higher, that is 2.86 and then from here again it can make a new low. So if you are someone who wants to take a trade with a strategy of entering quickly and exiting quickly, this can be a potential place to enter the trade. But at the same time, I would say this is very risky. Potentially, there are good chances it can even come lower. So there are good chances it won't even hit your target and it can go lower from here. Guys, do not forget to hit the like button, support the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep stocking.